Good morning. Welcome to Morning Meditation. I'm Pastor Phil. We're here in the sanctuary at St. Paul's. It's wonderful to have you here with us. Good morning, I'm Pastor Phil. We're here at St. Paul's, one of the congregations that I have the joy of serving. And we continue on today following some of that discussion that we've been having in terms of the course of this week, with it having been Independence Day, discussing how we're free. Now we're continuing on. We heard Paul begin this discussion about how we're free in Christ uh, and not enslaved, how there was the cov- the law given at Sinai, and he compared that to Hagar, and how we are in Jerusalem under Christ, and we rejoice knowing these things. But let's continue on, as today we're going to be looking at Galatians chapter 5, and we begin with the first verse. It was for freedom that Christ set us free. Therefore, keep standing firm and do not be subject again to a yoke of slavery. Behold, I, Paul, say to you that if you receive circumcision, Christ will be of no benefit to you. And I testify again to every man who receives circumcision that he is under obligation to keep the whole law. And you have been severed from Christ, you who are seeking to be justified by the law, you have fallen from grace. For we, through the Spirit, by faith, are waiting for the hope in righteousness. Now, Yesterday, we talked about the idea of being freed in Christ, that because of his work, we're free. Today, we change the wording up just a little bit because we are freed by Christ. Now, the law is something that functions in our lives, and it functions in a lot of different ways. We've got speed limit signs that we have to, should follow. We've got rules, regulations, and laws. Recently, I had to go get new tags for my truck. If I didn't get the new tags, I was going to be in violation of law. And is that a, an unjust law? Probably not. I don't, I don't know. That's a discussion for another day. But the thing is, is we have these laws. Well, there's also the law of God. And the law of God acknowledges the fact that you and I are sinful beyond a shadow of a doubt. We've done horrible, wicked things because of our old Adam that's in us who comes from our old father, Adam. But we also know that because of the work of Jesus Christ, we've been set free. And being set free means that we are no longer under the law. And because of the work of Jesus, we get this release. We're set free by Jesus Christ because of what he does. Now, having been set free by Jesus Christ, that means that we no longer stand under the penalty of sin, but we also realize that because we are free by Christ, it means that the Spirit of God is upon us and we believe in him and accept him into our lives. We briefly heard Paul talk about how when you turn away from Christ and back to the law, condemnation becomes yours. You can't stand in a middle ground half condemned and half freed. Instead, what we understand is because of the work of Jesus, we are freed by him. And as we're freed by him, we reside in him. The work of Christ is incredible because it does loose us from all of the consequences of sin. Death is no longer our inheritance. Condemnation is no longer our sentence. Rather, life is our inheritance, and freedom in Christ with resurrection is our sentence, if we can call it that. 
So we realize as we go forward in this sense of freedom that we have that we do live in a time of difficulty where the notion of freedom is one that's being rediscussed. What's free, what isn't? Where are rights being impinged and where are they not? But in the bigger picture for you and for me as believers, we keep our eyes upon the cross and remember that the law is no longer condemning us and that because of Jesus Christ, by his shedding of his blood and by his resurrection, we are raised and we are freed. We are free men in a way that the world can never take away because of what Jesus has done. Go into the world recognizing that freedom you have in Christ. Go into the world living in that freedom and proclaiming the gospel message knowing that you're a child of God. God bless you. I'll see you again tomorrow. Go in peace.